What's up everyone? So today's video uh, will kind of be using a different format instead of taking a look at a dish drawer or whatever uh, we're taking a look at Super Tux card but the topic of the day is about what my favorite desktop environment is uh, and also write down in the comments below what is your favorite desktop environment and also mention why. So my favorite desktop environment is if you guys haven't noticed if you watch my videos uh, recently I made a bunch of KDE customization videos so that might give a hint so the reason why KDE is my favorite desktop environment is because it features a lot of customization I just love customizing my desktop and KDE offers just that um, I've tried all of the desktop environments available and there are definitely a lot of good desktop environments uh, but the reason why I chose KDE over all the others is because with the customization you can make KDE look like almost anything uh, like I made the previous videos how to make it look like Windows uh, and it does look pretty decent you know uh, so you can make it look like Windows 10 or a Mac or like GNOME or just about anything else and on top of that it looks modern um, and also it's not that difficult if you just mess around with the settings manager you can see all the options available and you can do a ton with it and on top of that with the new release of Plasma 5.13 recently it uh, offered some very nice features for example the new blur effect which up until then I only saw one desktop environment featuring it as kind of the default and that was Deepin but here's the thing about Deepin is even though it looks beautiful uh, you can't really customize it I do still think it looks very nice but again it doesn't really give you enough options whereas KDE you can make it look almost just like Deepin without the control center of course but you can make it look very similar and on top of that if you ever get bored with that type of style you can always change it and that's the kind of the downside of a lot of desktop environments is they don't really give you the option to uh, change them up uh, like to the way that you like it and that's that's what Linux is all about right to give the user freedom and all that type of stuff and every desktop environment in my opinion is good in its own way and is unique but um, yeah something like uh, for example elementary OS I think he uses correct me if I wrong if I'm wrong but I think that it's Pantheon and uh, basically I made a video recently about it and I showed that well you're kind of restricted with it you can't really customize it that much and all you can really do is just change the background and I think that's that's just about it so you know something like that it may look good out of the box but if you ever decide to change it up you don't really have the option and like I mentioned that's what I really like about KDE then you may say something like XFCE is also highly customizable and on top of that it's um, lightweight but if I were to make a comparison uh, when it comes to XFC I would call it a ricer so basically what a ricer is is a car that's maybe older or not really a racing or a fast car and basically you make modifications to it to make it look more modern make it look faster all that type of stuff so the reason why I'm saying this is you can make XFC look good and modern uh, but you can kind of tell that it's it isn't the feel I guess you can tell by the feel uh, that it's um, kind of n I guess not as modern I can't really describe it uh, but it, it just kind of looks flat in my opinion and you you can't really like there's no desktop effects all that type of stuff uh, the thing with it is that because of that that's why it's more lightweight because it doesn't really have like uh, these types of effects or anything like that but 
the great thing with KDE is that it also has desktop effects and it just looks and also just feels modern and um, the good thing is is that even if you may think that it's like if it uses a lot of resources on your computer the good thing is is you can disable all types of effects and it would for sure speed it up for you so I don't know that's just my opinion I've been using it uh, KD as my main desktop environment for a while now and that's just my opinion so that was basically it uh, if you guys have anything to say any questions or anything uh, definitely write them down in the as a comment in the comment section below uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.